All right, guys, today's video is brought to you and paid for by ShareTechWorkAccessories.com. I need you guys to go check them out. They sent me an awesome headset and mouse pad, and they're giving it to me for free. Not only that, they pay me for the ad too. And they're providing all of you with a discount code that is headsets. All of this information will be down in the description, but they have awesome Jujutsu Kaisen headsets, Hanaka Kun headsets, they have Romilia Scarlet headsets, they have backlit mouse pads, JJK mouse pads, Atachi mouse pads, even Death Note. They have all types of awesome stuff and they even sell it in sets. Make sure that you guys go check out Share Tech Work Accessories. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Something I've been thinking about recently is the possibility of Gear 5th or a new Gear form. Now, this isn't something new to the channel. I've talked about what I think Gear 5th was prior to this video and other videos. However, with things shaping up the way that they are, I've started to notice kind of a pattern between Luffy and what he does against certain antagonists and other arcs. Yesterday on stream, I was having a very in-depth conversation and kind of went on this rant, this, this tangent about how I think the pattern that Luffy goes through will still shine through in this arc and how I can see things going when he goes against Kaido. Now, I know most of us, you know, with brains are thinking about this fight and we're like, well, I mean, he's probably going to win, right? I mean, it, it, it's plot armor, right? But that's not what's important. The important thing is trying to like speculate and figure out the puzzle pieces. That's what's so beautiful about One Piece. It's like, of course, there are certain things that are going to be followed because at the end of the day, it's a battle shonen. And we know, like many other battle shonen, that the MC usually wins. It's just something that happens. But One Piece is special because there are different ways to fit the puzzle pieces and make a complete picture. And I think that's what's so awesome about it. You know what else is awesome though, man? Liking the video, bro. Like it's free to like the video and it's free to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. You feel me? And I know, like I say in all my other videos, are you guys broke? No, you guys aren't broke. Well, you might be, but you can afford free if you're broke. You know what I mean? So if you do like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want more One Piece content like this, make sure you subscribe, turn on those post notifications. So I know you're probably asking, well, since you talked about a pattern, what pattern are you referring to? All right. So if you think about, and let's go all the way back to pre-time skip, let's hop on a boat and sail the seas all the way to the past. Don't worry. We got Toki with us. She going to send us back to the future. Now, in the pre-time skip, if you think about in this lobby, Luffy had gear second and gear third attacks, right? So when he realizes that he needs this to defeat Bluno, to defeat Luchi, he utilizes him. This is something that Luffy does when he realizes that he may not be strong enough to defeat an enemy or to protect his crew. He usually finds a way to do it. And that's why I like Luffy so much, because it's not just, oh, here's a power up that's foreign to what I already have in my kit. I'm using what's in my kit, my devil fruit to power myself up. I'm using my devil fruit in a unique way, which makes Luffy a little bit different than some of the other MCs that, you know, we won't mention. You feel me? <laughs> but anyways, Luffy found a way to use gear seconds increasing the blood flow to help him become faster more durable quicker things like that and in gear third he inflated his own body and he used you know a big elephant gun attack or many of the other big attacks he uses in gear third and gear fourth so that's our first time we see luffy bridge the gap now he does this though when he needs to think about sabaody he sees his crew get demolished and he feels hopelessness and then think about Marine Ford that put the cherry on top where he lost his brother in front of him. At this point, he realizes, look, I need to get stronger. I can't protect my crew. And the crew was all I have. That conversation he had with Jimbe was super, super important. Shout out to Uncle Jimbe. He'd be at the barbecue with the Jesus sandals on and all that. But shout out to Uncle Jimbe for giving him that structure and that lecture that helped him realize once again, I need to bridge the gap. I need to become stronger so I can protect my crew and protect what's important to me. And once again, we see him utilizing his devil fruit, but also this time training for two years to become stronger while also informing his crew to train as well to become stronger. 
Luger. This is where Luffy really starts to hit his stride as a captain and realize, once again, I need to bridge the gap, but the gap is a little bit bigger this time. So he does. He comes back in the same pacifistas that were giving all of them trouble before. They easily overcome because they work hard because Luffy, in this same pattern, when he's weaker than someone, he bridges the gap. I'm going to say bridge the gap a lot. I like the way that sounds, you know, bridge the gap. It reminds me of like if I was a dentist and someone came in and it had a field goal mouth and I'm like, all right, I'm going to bridge the gap. I'm just kidding. But anyways, Luffy finds a way to power himself up naturally. That's important. Fast forward, we get to Whole Cake Island. He's fighting against Katakuri. Now, in this fight, he has a gear form called Snake Man. He already has it and he's used it before, but he realizes, hey, once again, I'm weaker than this opponent. I need to bridge the gap. Let me utilize one of these things that I trained myself in and I can help myself defeat this guy. So then he uses Snake Man and he bridges the gap by getting faster to overcome the future site. Now, there's a whole bunch of other details in this fight. Those are boring we're not talking about that but let's fast forward once again shout out to toki we're going to curry this time in wano so once again luffy tastes defeat he gets overcome even with his new powers by kaido kaido not only defeats him but he also before defeating him showed luffy and made luffy think that he killed his entire crew so what does luffy do when he realizes his crew is safe he thinks to himself, I need to get stronger to protect my crew because they really could have died right then. So he goes to Udon prison. Of course, he's in prison, but he trains while he's there with Hyogoro to find a way to get through Kaido's scales and to damage him. One last fast forward. I know you guys are tired of it, but I'm trying to make a point here. We get to the fights at Onigashima. So he's fighting Kaido and he uses this Rio. But once again, it's not enough. And we know it's not enough because the scabbards use the same type of Rio and they were too shallow of attacks. And Luffy's using blunt force. So it's different. But what happens here? Luffy adapts. He watches what Kaido does and he adapts. He mimics it. He realizes that if he flows his Conqueror's hockey, that he can use Conqueror's coding and that he can damage Kaido even more. Once again, Again, we see this pattern. Luffy loses taste defeat, finds a way to bridge the gap. So now that he's fought Kaido for 30 minutes and he's fallen off of Onigashima, what is he going to do, class? That's right, he's going to bridge the gap. And this is how I think he's going to do it. This is where the gear fifth and gear form comes into play. Because if you pay attention to the gear form Snake Man, it not only matches one of the animals in Rusakana, but it also has the animal name in its name. Now, why is that important? Because some of you may not realize this, but the gear fourth came about because he was too weak to defeat the animals in Rusikana when he was training with Rayleigh. So he implements Gear Forth. And I think that Luffy has copied the animals in his gear forms. Now, not all of them, not all of them. He uses Bound Man and Tank Man. They're not animals. However, some of the attacks are named after animals that were there as well. The Elephant Gun. If you think about it, there's a lot of animal names implemented in attacks and or in gear form names like Snake Man. So what animal was there? That is also in Japanese mythology, the exact enemy, the yang to the yin of dragons, tigers. And that's why I do believe that Tiger Man might be a form. Now, I know that this Tiger Man theory has been flying around forever. I'm not saying that I'm creating the theory. Not at all. If I did, then I would have put it in the title. I know that I didn't create this idea. However, this isn't quite a theory video, more of a speculatory video. So I believe that he's going to use Gear 4 of Tiger man maybe but why did i think about gear fifth you may be asking well gear fourth utilizes the flow of armament hockey to a great extent it's like a battery for luffy to power up his gear fourth so i was thinking well what if you flow conqueror's coding and use that as your battery for your gear that might be what gear fifth is but past all of that the biggest question is sin why do you think he needs gear fifth or why do you think he needs a new gear form well, he lost very recently, but he's confident now. And Luffy is very confident after he loses against people because he has an idea and he thinks that he can win the fight. 
Also, he does have the help of Yamato, and Yamato's pretty strong. However, I think Luffy realized in that loss what he needed to bridge the gap. He needed to implement something even stronger with his Conqueror's coding, which is why I believe that if Tiger Man is not used with the Conqueror's coding, that it will be indeed a Conqueror's coding gear form. Gear fifth, whatever, man. <laughs> Who knows, bro? Conqueror, man, king, man, it doesn't matter. The point is, I think that Conqueror's coding will be the battery that amplifies his gear fifth, and that is what he will use to defeat Kaido. So you've heard it here. This is the stance that I'm taking. It's not a big stance. It isn't like I'm Mr. Morgan saying the raid will fail. It isn't like I'm saying Green Bull is Ushimaru and also the father of Zoro. And shout out to Mr. Morgan, but I'm not taking any big stances like that. But however, I will take this stance that I think the key to defeating Kaido will definitely be Gear 4th Tiger Man or Gear 5th Conqueror's Cody, Coding Cody, Coding King Man. <laughs> whatever bro like i don't know what the name is going to be but guys these are just my thoughts on how luffy may defeat kaido with gear fifth or gear fourth tiger man also i think i am going to copyright that name for gear fifth gear fifth cody coat cody coat coat king man you feel me cody coding king man <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on the possibility of a Gear 4th new mode or a Gear 5th Cody Cody Coat Coat Kingman. Also, my Discord link is down below as well as my Twitch link. Make sure that you hit both of those. Join the Discord server and follow me on Twitch. I stream every day. And as always, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during these trying times. This has been Sensei Inc. And I will see you all in the next video.